What's going on guys? Welcome to part two of this five color Niv-Mizzet Reborn deck. Uh, this one's a bit silly and a bit janky. We did get one win uh, in the previous video, which uh, if you didn't watch, please please go go check that one out. You can kind of see the deck in its entirety and why we're doing what we're doing. But uh, this time, hoping for a little bit of a better uh, turnout, maybe at least one or two wins would be great. Uh, against Mono Red, probably not, but we're gonna do the best we can. Uh, unfortunately, this is going to be a bit of a slow match for us, though. Um, thankfully, we've got some Uros to maybe gain a little bit of life back, he says optimistically. Um, and a Nimbus at Reborn will be great, but we definitely need like a Deafening Clarion or something to, uh, to thin this out a little bit uh, as we go through. So we'll see if we can get there. Um, really am liking this deck, though. It's a fun one. It's a bit of a silly one. It's all, of course, based around Niv Mizzet. Um, and it's it's a pretty cool build, I'll be honest, but uh, we've run into the issue where we just kind of flood out quite a bit, uh, which can be a bit frustrating, but that's okay. We've got 28 lands. We're, we're expecting some amount of that, uh, and so we'll, we'll do the best we can to get around it. Uh, that is very annoying, this little interaction here. Uh, because this gets double strike, that's very, very difficult. Um, all right, so we're going to have to shock ourselves, uh, which feels terrible, but let's do this. Uh, we're going to gain a little bit of life back. Hopefully, we can stay alive long enough for this to actually matter. Um, it's kind of the trick here. Uh, get that down. And then theoretically, we can get a Niv-Mizzet down next turn. But honestly, I'd rather just get a Deafening Clarion. Ha, to be honest, that seems a lot better to me. Uh, just so we can really easily kind of clear this board here. Because there's no way we're going to be able to do this without that. Oh, that is very, very good. Uh, six, seven, eight. Yeah, we might just be dead. <laughs> uh, pretty close. <laughs> Um, yep. Well, it is what it is. Uh, alright, so red, blue, white, green. We just get a black. Uh, we get Nib Mizzet down, but we're dead anyway. Well, there is the Deafening Clarion. Unfortunately, didn't get there on that. Um, yeah, we just lose. I'm gonna go ahead and concede. <laughs> Uh, we did get to play the niv Mizzet, which was fun, um, but yeah, that was a bit of a rough one. Uh, this deck does hold a lot of sweeper potential. I mean, it's got like uh, six or something like that, um, so a tenth of the deck is just sweepers. Um, but it unfortunately, if you just don't have it, you don't have it, and so that would have been a situation where just having a Deafening Clarion would have cleared that board. We would have been in a much better position. Uh, and so we, we could have maybe gotten something going there. Uh, this is definitely a keep. We've got a Deafening Clarion. We've also got Uro. A uh, little bit of a slow start on the lands here. Um, but, you know, I'll, I'll take this over um, any, you know, just a ton of niv Mizzets or anything like that. Um, okay. Adventures, sure. Uh, definitely an annoying archetype to play against um, because of the Lucky Clover. Uh, they kind of get to double up on a lot of their stuff, but um, we do have ways to, to deal with this, so we'll do the best we can. All right, so uh, kind of hoping they just um, love struck beast, get their one ones out, and then you know see what happens. But uh, that just gives us the opportunity to very easily deafening Clarion, um, and then follow that up with maybe an Uro the following turn. Okay. Or they do that, and that's fine. Um, with that in mind, part of me really does not want to Deafening Clarion yet. Um, they got red, so the assumption here is that they've probably got a Bone Crusher Giant um, in hand. Uh, and so maybe Deafening Clarion is not going to be the answer, but we'll, we'll see. Sure. Uh, and worth noting that this does just kind of help ramp us into what we need to get to. So let's, let's just do this. Um, not under a ton of pressure here. Gonna try and get a little greedy with that Deafening Clarion. Perfect. Let's get that down. Get all of these Trium lands out. Um, and then we'll just throw a Plains out. So let's see. Do we white, blue, black, red, green? So we can just Nib-Mizzet next turn if we'd like. Um, 
I think there's a world where we don't want to do that. Um, in fact, this might be that world. Um, we might just want to straight time wipe, but we'll we'll figure that out. Sure. Um, you know what? We're here. We're gonna do it. Uh, we're gonna have to discard some stuff, but we're we're gonna do it. Wow, we really did not hit a lot, did we? Um, I think we definitely just pull Hydroid Crisis. <clears throat> Only a one of on that, but that's okay. Um, so here we do leave up a blocker. So hopefully we're gonna mitigate a little bit of damage here, unless they just have another Bone Crusher, uh, in which case they triple hit Niv Mizzet. Yeah. Well done. That's great. Um, really, really solid play. Uh, and so now we're just gonna, we're just gonna time wipe here. No doubt. Uh, just get rid of all the stuff. Uh, we could, well, depending on our lands, we could, but we'll see. Um, we could just deafening Clarion and not really worry as much about this, uh, Lovestruck Beast, because without the one ones, it's pretty useless anyway. Um, so maybe that's what we end up doing. They're just going to play the Fae of Wishes. Okay. Well. Uh, really interesting. Unfortunately, here we're just not getting our lands, which is, you know, kind of annoying. But it is what it is. Let's go ahead and just do that, and we'll pass. <clears throat> and I think, realistically, what would have been smart is to have Deafening Clarion first next or last turn. Um, just so we could have gotten rid of those one ones, but here we're we're gonna be taking a hit. Um, they're gonna be able to swing in for five minimum. They do have. I'm trying to save that time wipe for the uh, the beanstalk giant here, uh, just because that's gonna be a very troublesome card. Um, another Niv Mizzet. I think honestly the play though safer play is to do this. This gets rid of Bone Crusher. It also gets rid of the Innkeeper here. <laughs> Um, still can take a hit from the Fae. So I think we just lose then, right? Yeah, we just lose. All right. Well, they got us. They got us. They got us. Let's move into, I believe, our third and final game. Uh, these have been fairly quick ones. Uh, they just had much more to do, unfortunately, than we did. We were really stuck on land there. That's very rare for this deck, I will say. Uh, but let's see what we can do. Uh, we'll, of course, summarize the deck a little bit, but keeping in mind that this was never meant to be super competitive. This was meant to try out Nim Mizzet Reborn a little bit before he rotates out. <clears throat> um, and I, I think that, you know, as as not great as this deck has been uh, overall, it has been really fun to just try it out. So I'm fine with it. Uh, this is a bit of an interesting hand, but we do have the, the Grazer here to kind of clog up the board uh, slightly. Um, we'll start with the Zagoth Triumph. <clears throat> Next turn, we'll be able to play a couple lands out here. Uh, get our red source for this. Let's get this down. And we'll just get this down. Uh, really doesn't matter which land, since we'll be at four next turn. Uh, kind of don't want a deck thin. Kind of want to get a land here, uh, so we can just get niv it down. Um, so we'll play that swamp out just so we've got something there okay unfortunately did not hit a land um, we do get a red source here and then we can instant speed justice strike uh, so I do like that and we'll see what they end up doing they may try and like Domery's ambush in which case we get to fizzle it which would be great um, really really great but we'll see uh, Definitely want to get a sweeper in our hand here. 100% are going to need that. Um, a time wipe or a solar flare, something along those lines would be really great. I'm just going to go ahead and do this. Get that out of there. Kind of surprised. Well, I guess that makes sense. Fortunately, just got another grazer. Uh, kind of silly that we're having land trouble here. Uh, with a 28 land deck, you would think you'd be okay. Um... Also worth noting, it might have been worth it to save that Justice Strike, but nah, we we didn't know. We were trying to save ourselves a little damage there, or losing the Grazer. Um, so, we will see. Sure. Uh, all too happy to block here. Um, with Uro in our deck, 
It's perfectly fine if we have to do that. My goodness, how are we this unlucky with lands, guys? 28, almost half of our deck is just land, <laughs> and we're not getting any. Um, we've also drawn two of our basics. I mean, Fable Passage got one, but goodness. Uh, this is a bit of an odd, odd mix-up here. Sure. I mean, we block. Uh, Definite Clarion would be an amazing draw. We get a very nice little three for one. Oh, I should have, uh, whoops, that was a mistake. Definitely should have just blocked there, but that's okay. All right. Well, I feel terrible about this. We're just not getting our land. Uh, there's nothing more to it. Okay. Thought Erasure. Still not a land. My goodness. All right, well, we're going to probably take that Questing Beast, if I'm honest. We just can't let him have that. Uh, that's a very difficult one for us to effectively deal with. Ooh, Embercleave, though. Yeah, it's Embercleave. That's what we take. Okay, I mean, we take that, but we're, like, dead this coming turn. In fact, 100% dead, right? 4, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So we're one away. Plus, they've got Ranger's Guile, so they kill us. Yeah, they just get to Ranger's Guile, and they got it. That is terrible. You know? Unfortunately, we just didn't get there with land. Um, well, I hate when that happens, but you can't do anything about it. It is what it is. Uh, kind of surprising in a deck like this, but, you know, here we are. Uh, okay, so to summarize the deck, first of all, like I said, this is not competitively viable in any way, shape, or form. This is not meant to be competitively viable. This is very much meant to just be a, a kind of, we'll say a bit of a silly deck. Uh, and that is exactly what it is. It's, it's looking to just play Nid Mizzet and do a bunch of stuff, which is awesome. Uh, but keeping in mind that you're not going to, you know, against the aggro decks and things like that, you do have to just kind of get a bit lucky. Um, all that to say, uh, it's an expensive deck to build. So if you don't have the wild cards, this is not one for you. But if you've already got the list or if you've got a lot of the pieces and you just want to try something out that's a little bit different, uh, this is a great way to try it. Uh, it's fun. It's it's fun to pick a card like Niv-Mizzet Reborn and see what kind of things you can do with it. Uh, I did not build this deck. I should say this was a pulled list, but um, it was a really fun one to try. And I think that just trying is the fun part. You get to pick a card and see if you can do something cool with it. So uh, I do hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope you guys had a fantastic weekend. I hope you have a great week ahead of you. Please make sure to keep watching our videos. Check out our Patreon. Check out our website. All kinds of awesome stuff happening. Uh, there will be more information on the JDC coming very soon as well. Uh, so do keep track for that. But uh, really excited, guys. Lots of stuff coming down the pipeline. But thank you so much for your support, and I will see you very soon in another gameplay video.